Welcome to the Sea Dragon Slayer. My name is Kira and thank you so much for joining. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. If uh, you've seen my videos before, welcome back. Always uh, excited and glad to see um, you guys. See you guys. Um, I do see you guys if you like or subscribe or comment. Um, do apologize about the late responses to the comments from my last video. I have been crazy busy, <laughs> um, but I did review them, and in this video I will be drawing a name to see where the traveling hung bug goes next. Um, so my last video I showed off uh, this old traveling hung bug, and this is how I stitched it. I did different colors, and this pattern... Uh, is going to be traveling around to different cross stitchers. So the last person who had it was uh, Jessie from Miss Lay Pages, and she mentioned on her site, on her um, uh, YouTube floss tube videos, that uh, she was going to stitch it and then pass it on to somebody else and to comment below. So I commented and I actually got the pattern. So I stitched it up and I decided to keep passing it on that I would then um, pass it on to one of my viewers. So I made kind of a impromptu video. Um, so those of you who uh, get notifications that my videos come out, you probably saw that um, and everything. If you don't and you do enjoy this video, uh, think about getting a little notifications. I My goal for 2021 is to make a video uh, to be posted on the last Friday of every month, uh, but occasionally I might do a random impromptu video sooner than that. Um, that's what this was. So at the, somewhere in this video, I'm going to pause um, because I am using my phone to record it and do a random generator and I'll put in a little video of me doing that uh, to see where this humbug is going next. So stay tuned. But anyway, yes, so I have been really busy lately, sort of, yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, so if you're new here, uh, I work two jobs. So I have a full job, which is Monday through Friday. I'm an accountant and it's, 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 it's something. <laughs> it's a good job. It really, it really is. Uh, this is the first time I've done accounting. Um, I'm fairly new to it. I've only been working for a few months, um, and I like it. I'm learning it. It's just the company's kind of funky, so uh, we'll see where that goes. But I also, um, over the holidays, picked up a fun job at Michael's. So I work at Michael's Craft Store. Uh, during the holidays, I was working like almost every day at Michael's in addition to my day job. Uh, but then since the holidays have died down and everything, I've been really working just on the weekends, uh, which is, which is fine. Um, I honestly don't really mind working seven days a week because, uh, all the jobs that I work are usually in the mornings. So it just kind of, I, it forces me to get out of bed. And then once I get off work, I'm already up and going so I can just continue on my day versus like actually having a day off and end up not really getting up to do anything. Uh, so yeah, so I've been working at Michael's and I was hired on as a seasonal uh, part-time employee. And I am excited to say that uh, the hiring manager just came to me the other day and he offered me a permanent part-time position uh, with um, with a raise and y'all like my raise is like almost a 19% raise, <laughs> um, which is, which is really exciting. Right. I mean, I know ever like, honestly, since day one, they always like ramped and raved about like my performance and, um, everything like that. I mean, I really enjoy it. I like going in there. I like putting out new merchandise. I like pulling orders. I like talking to the customers. I enjoy the cash register. Um, I pick up on things really quickly too. So, I mean, my second week there, I was already training people. Uh, so they always like were very supportive and 
said like how much they appreciated me. I mean, I got employee of the month in December and everything like that, but uh, to get like a 19% pay increase, that, that speaks volumes. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited about that. It might also speak volumes as far as like how poorly the seasonal pay gets, but um, anywho, <laughs> uh, I'm just really excited about that. So mostly though, I'm working on the weekends there, um, occasionally during the week. If I kind of feel like it, I'll give them a call. Hey, do you need some extra help tonight? I'll go and work a couple hours. So it's great. I love it. I really do. Um, I don't, well, I don't know. My fiance keeps saying like, well, do you want to like do retail as your like full-time job? And I, I don't know. I love it. I really do. But at the same time, like retail is a lot of hard work, like on the body. And I've had like two knee surgeries, shoulder surgery, knee to hip replacement, all that fun stuff. So having a day job where I sit at a computer, um, is great. So I'm still going to keep my accounting job. I just also really like working at Michael's. Plus, the discounts are amazing. Um, I recently got an Otlite, uh, which at our Michaels, the Otlites are currently 50% off. And then with employee discount, like, I think I saved like $156 on an Otlite. <laughs> um, so I kind of splurged, but it wasn't really splurging because of how much of a great savings I got. So that was also really fun and great. Uh, in addition to just like working a lot, Last Friday, uh, the 22nd, was my fiance's and mine uh, four-year meet Uh We kind of coined that term because I met him four years ago um, on the 22nd of January. Uh, it, was, it was a really difficult day for me. Um, my grandma... My mom's mom passed away actually that morning and it was it was something that was kind of we knew it was coming but it was still hard and at the time I was living by myself um, in an itty bitty little town like 45 minutes north of Columbia and I hadn't really been in touch with a lot of like my old friends in Columbia or anything like that um, and I was just really kind of like sad and down and blue and I was like well a friend of mine had reached out and was like, hey, our friend is doing this uh, video game tournament tonight, you want to come out? Like, not even knowing what was going on in my life at the time. And I was like, well, I can either stay at home and mourn my grandmother and be all alone, or I can go out and see friends who I haven't seen in a really long time and just be around people who are always just, like, caring and full of love. So I decided to go out. And I got there and I met Jason um, that night and we hit it off. Um, we ended up hanging out until super late uh, in the evening or early in the morning. And uh, then like the next day or a couple days later, we went to the zoo because uh, I was a zoo, I had a zoo membership. So I was like, hey, if you want to go to the zoo sometime, let me know, I'll let you know kind of like my schedule. So like the next day after hanging out with him, I was like, you know, I like, I'm free on Friday, let me go to hit him up and see if he wants to go because, I mean, I really enjoyed his company. And he was like, yeah, sure. So we don't really have a start date of when we started dating because it was kind of really from the moment we met, <laughs> essentially. So we, we enjoyed to celebrate our meet anniversary. Um, in addition to like our engagement, which was in December, um, and then who knows when our wedding will be. But... Um, we did a date night on the 22nd, so I had planned this um, like a week in advance uh, just because our zoo is doing a free Fridays in January and February for local residents and you just had to make reservations and stuff so I went ahead and just like made reservations for like the next Friday essentially and then I was like oh let me like plan it as a date night so I did the zoo and then um the bar that we ended up hanging out at the night that we met is just recently opened up for reservations only. Um, so I made some contacts to see, it's kind of like a, you need to, you need to know people to get reservations. 
So I reached out to a couple of people and I was able to make us reservations for there. And then I was like, oh, just really excited. So I blocked it off on a calendar and said, hey, look, we're going to have a date night next Friday. Well, <laughs> he then messaged me like Friday morning, like happy anniversary," and like sent me a picture of like the day we met. And I was like, oh crap, like it really is like actually our, our four year anniversary. Like I did not even think of what day it was um, that I made these date night plans. And it just like happened to be on our actual anniversary, and that we were going to the zoo and that we were going to end up with a wig. So it was a lot of fun. It really was. Um, I was really worried about the weather because it has been cold and kind of rainy. But the sun came out, it got into the 50s uh, Fahrenheit, so it was gorgeous weather at the zoo. Since they um, are doing at reservation basis, um, time, like an hour time lot, it wasn't really that busy. Um, and then for the most part, everybody who was there was wearing masks. It was outside, um, so it was easy to social distance and everything like that. And then we went to the wig. And the food there is amazing, so I'm really glad that we got to go there again. Um, so all in all, it was a really, really fun, fun evening. Uh, so yeah, yeah, just lots of lots of stuff going on, but lots of good stuff, uh, which is which is great and exciting. Uh, in addition to that, something else fun that's coming up is uh, next weekend, the first weekend of February. Uh, me and my fiance and two other couples were renting a cabin in Gatlinburg. So we're going there for kind of like a long weekend. Uh, we went, we rented a cabin and stuff like that. And we'll probably do like the sky bridge and maybe a couple other things. So if you guys have ever been to Gatlinburg and have like something cool for us to check out, let me know. Um, Cause I've kind of done some research. I try to avoid like the touristy stuff. Like I think there's a Ripley's um, museum there. Uh, but some cool things. There's also apparently a salt and pepper shaker museum. So I'm I'm definitely intrigued by that. So I'll probably end up going to that uh, at some point too. But otherwise, we got like a gorgeous cabin that we rented. Uh, wonderful views. It has a hot tub. So honestly, if I don't even leave the cabin, I think I'll be happy. I'll be bringing my stitching stuff. In addition to uh, one of the other girls that's coming with us, she knows how to crochet, so I'll be bringing some crochet stuff with me too. So yeah, all in all, that's kind of, man, like my big uh, life update. Something else, I don't have the results yet, but I did go back to the dermatologist. Um, for those of you who are with me uh, for a bit, I did have a um, hunk of skin cancer, uh, basal cell carcinoma, which is the most common type of uh, skin cancer chopped out of my neck um, a couple months ago. So I went back to a dermatologist for another once over. They did find another spot um, kind of on my lower abdomen. So they took a biopsy of that and I should know this week um, the results. So I'll try to keep you guys posted. Maybe I'll post something on Instagram or something like that because um, I know some of you guys do ask, do ask about that. Um, but the main reason why I'm telling you guys is Please get checked. Um, I know it's winter now and you probably like hop straight from the shower into warm clothes like I did tonight because <laughs> I mean my hair is still wet. I just took a shower. But take those extra moments to check yourself out like check in the mirror to make sure you get your back or have somebody else check. Check those spots if something looks weird or you see a spot like the one on my lower abdomen. I didn't have that spot like I don't know, a couple months ago, I didn't have it, um, or I didn't realize I had it. So just make sure you check yourself. Um, it's always better to be safe than sorry. So yeah, little little health <laughs> insert uh, PSA there. Make sure that you are checking yourself and staying healthy. So anywho, let's go ahead and get started with some stitchy stuff. This is probably gonna honestly be kind of a long video because I have stitchy stuff. I have plans and I have some happy mail. So I knew my mom was sending me a package. So I have a package for my mom, but I just got the mail like right before I took a shower this evening and I got some more happy mail. So, which I'm really excited about. But first things first, um, I have a little cheat sheet here that I'm gonna try to follow. So we'll see, is my whips. 
which stands for work in progress. So I did get actually a bit of stitching done. The first thing that I am going to show off, I didn't get a lot on this project done, but it's, it's something, it's something, it's getting there. So this is my Dark Queen of the Sea. This is Dark Queen of the Sea Stitch Long. This is by Autumn Lane Stitchery. Uh, this is, I'm working on part two. Uh, I think part five has been released. So what I've done since last time is essentially I kind of, this part right here, in addition to kind of the outline of like her coral fin type stuff on the side here. So this is stitched on 28 count opalescent. Um, I ice dyed it uh, myself. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I, I was going to leave the fish eyes. I just haven't done the fish eyes yet just because it's like here, kind of like confetti, I guess people call it, like here, there, everywhere. Um, but I don't know. Last time I was working on it, they just kind of started creeping me out. So next time I might have actual fish eyes on there. I'm not going to do any of the back stitching until like the very end because I will be moving it around in my cue snap. But um, I might just go ahead and put the fish eyes in. It won't take me long to do that, honestly, so I probably should. So yes, this is Dark Queen of the Sea by Autumn Lane Stitchery. The next project that I worked on, um, and pardon my threads, I kind of parked, sort of parked, if, if it's even that small, um, is no plan um, there's no planet B. This is by Clouds Factory. And uh, this is a new uh, stitch along. It just started in January. And uh, DNA Geekscraft, she had mentioned that she was gonna do this on like her her plans for 2021. And I had to check it out. So it's called There's No Planet B. And what it is, is it's going to be a stitch along of all endangered species. So this is an okabi, O-K-A-B-I, uh, which is kind of like an antelope type thing. Um, and then along with this first drop, there is going to be a black footed ferret. I am stitching this on 22 count Ada. Um, I picked them up from work and I, um, I went ahead and dyed it myself. I tried doing a shaving cream dye. It didn't work. I don't know if I just didn't have enough shaving cream or what the deal was. So I do plan on trying the shaving cream dye again at some point because um, I have seen some amazing shaving cream dye pieces recently. Um, so I ended up actually just doing a low immersion for this. This is my first time stitching on 22 count Ada, and I didn't really think about it. Uh, so I am stitching this two strands over one square, um, which honestly I'm thinking that probably most people do one strand over one square or two strands over two squares. Um, just because some of like the kind of like in the middle of the body here where there's lots of pieces together um it did kind of get a bit bulky um but i really like the coverage and i like the fact that this is going to like shrink it down a whole lot um so i'm going to keep i'm just going to keep at it so i'm i'm really enjoying this it's cute uh there is some what it's not opalescent threads it's like the sparkly thread so essentially an opalescent version of thread uh in here which you can't really see on the camera but i am enjoying that as well so yeah uh this is one that it's even though it's a stitch along i probably won't keep up with it but i'm still just gonna enjoy stitching it versus this next piece that i'm going to show you which um is a stitch along but I am um, definitely going to try to keep up with it. Sorry for not taking anything out of the cue snaps. I'm actually like 
working on all of these projects at once. Um, sort of I keep them all in the chair next to the couch and I'll work on a project for like uh, until like I finish a strand or something like that and then I'll like pick up the next project and work on that for a strand and then the next project. Um, so I'm just going to keep them all in cue snaps because I do plan on stitching some tonight. But this is Frosted Pumpkins um, uh, Christmas Wreath Stitch Along. So currently um, I'm up to date. So the house was part one. The bow is part two. And then this part of the wreath is part three. So the other night I um, put on the candy cane and the snowflake. And then there's like a star and some Christmas lights and stuff. And at first I was going to do like all of the, the items, like the ornaments that are hanging on the wreath first and then fill in all the green. But then I realized that I don't, <laughs> I'm not really looking forward to stitching all the, all the green because it's a little here, a little there kind of everything. So I'm forcing myself to, so I did the, the candy cane. And I'm going to stitch all of this green first, and then I'll stitch like another ornament, and then I'll stitch all of the next green, and then I'll stitch another ornament, and then I'll stitch all the next green, etc, etc. Because there is a couple greens um, in the wreath itself, which is going to be really amazing because you can actually kind of tell that's like uh, pine, pine needles essentially for like a, a wreath. So I'm really enjoying this one. Um, this is a stitch along that I am determined to stay on goal with. Um, if nothing else, this one is going to stay on goal. So, so far, so good. Uh, the pattern just released on the 22nd, uh, which is another nice thing with this pattern is um, the releases are on a different date completely than my other stitch alongs. So, um, I actually can work on those uh, for a bit and then this pattern gets dropped and I like gung ho on this pattern and then I can work on those when the next pattern drops, etc. So, yeah. Those are my current whips that I actually stitched on. Um, in addition to that, I did a little bit of crochet this week. Uh, when I was working at Michael's the other day, there was this green yarn. Uh, this green yarn here. Uh... And when I first went in, like, this green yarn was not where it was supposed to be, so I picked it and I put it in the bin. And then, like, later on the day, I found another one of these green yarns where it wasn't supposed to be, so I picked it up and I put it in the bin. And then later on the day, I saw it again. I was like, I like that green. And I like, like, it's really thin weight, or is that, do yarn by weight, right? Um, so it's really thin, it's really small, or lightweight. I'm still learning the terminology. Um, but I was like, well, I haven't, I'm having issues with some of the bulkier yarn with crocheting. So I was like, well, okay, you know what? Third time's the charm. I found this where it wasn't supposed to be again. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. <laughs> Buy it and remove it from the store to remove, uh, remove the issue of having to put it back, right? That, that's the justifiable excuse to buy something. <laughs> so I bought it and um, the other, the other video I showed that um, I was learning how to make little crochet hearts. Um, the video I'll link below and all my links I'm going to be trying to put below. Um, so the video was by Crochet Lovers and she did a video on how to crochet hearts. So she has different sized hearts. I've only stitched the tiny hearts. Um, I don't know. I'm good at doing tiny things um, over larger things. So the other night I made these three little hearts. So um, yeah, definitely, definitely getting better. Um, I'm really excited because I now know this pattern in my head as far as like, um, uh, like to chain, like chain two, double crochet. And I can't ever remember the name of the next step, but you do that twice and then you double crochet, then you do it twice and then kind of like in reverse. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I did see a pattern of um, a four leaf clover, 
where essentially you use like four hearts and then stitch them together into a four leaf clover. So who knows, maybe by the time March gets here, I um, can actually make a little four leaf clover. So that was a lot of fun. Um, something, something else, if you guys crochet, I am getting, I don't know if you can even see, there's like an additional loop. So somewhere, this uses a magic ring to, you make like a magic ring and then you do all your stitches around and then you cinch it closed. And sometimes for some reason when I cinch it closed, I have like this little loop and it doesn't really go anywhere. Um, so I don't know if you've seen that before and if I'm doing something wrong. My sister mentioned maybe like my first stitch that I'm doing on it, like my first like chain or two might be looser than everything else and that might be what causing it, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, it's on the back so you can't really tell. Um, the front side looks good. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, speaking of crocheting, so when we're going to the mountains, like I said, um, one of my friends that's going with us, she knows how to crochet. So she's going to um, kind of help me crochet just a very simple scarf. So I did pick up some of this really pretty pink and white and red um, because it will be February, so who knows? <laughs> um, I'm feeling quite ambitious and maybe I'll have a scarf done by uh, Valentine's Day. We'll see. So I did pick up that again, um, that on the other day. So um, this is actually moving a lot quicker than I thought. Let's go ahead and do some happy mail. Um, then after happy mail, I'll do some plans and then um, talk a little bit more and then um, I have the giveaway to do. So hopefully you are sticking through for the giveaway um, and not just like skipping forward. <laughs> and hopefully you are enjoying this because I am enjoying recording this. So the first happy mail I'm gonna show off, I'm gonna kind of like cheat a lot of times floss tubers I've noticed they do their happy mail as stuff that other people have sent them but I don't know I find happy mail like stuff that I buy for myself is happy so I'm just gonna like assign all like haul because I don't really like the terminology haul um because it feels like I'm like <laughs> hoarding stuff but uh anyway everything that I'm gonna be getting I'm gonna classify as happy mail uh, so the first thing that I want to show is this year I am a um, member of Fortnite Fabrics, uh, Fabric of the Month. Uh, so Fortnite Fabrics, uh, also aka Married with Stitches, they have a floss tube um, under Married with Stitches. They are doing a Fabric of the Month club and there's a couple different versions you can join. And I joined their Expensive Rich, which is an opalescent uh, dyed fabrics. So I got the first one for January. So if you haven't gotten yours yet um, and you don't want to be spoiled, like just tune out for a minute. <laughs> um, but they did actually show it off in one of their recent floss tubes as well. So if you watch that, you probably have seen it already. But I'm really excited about this. Not sure how it's going to show up on camera. So this is called Work Work B B explanation point T C H. Work being spelled W E R K, and it is an opal essence, and it's a really really pretty blue. Like the camera is definitely blowing it out. I'm still trying to figure out my lighting situation in here. Um, so this is, I, I am getting their 28 count even weave, um, cause that's my preferred stitch count. And I have a couple ideas of what I want to stitch on this. So I'll be bringing this back when I go through my plans for February. But um, again, this is Fortnite Fabrics. Um, you can check out their website. And even if you aren't looking for fabric to buy, definitely check out um, their floss tube, Married with Stitches. It's a hoot. It really is. Um, it's so much fun watching them. So.
So that was the first thing that I got in the mail. I did also get a couple other things that I bought myself, but I'm going to save those for February goals because they go with that. So next, let me open from my pen pal because um, this package made it, I'm covering the address, made it all the way from Australia. So I'm really, really, really excited about this. Um, she got my package I sent to her for January, um, just the other day. I'll see if I can insert a picture um, while I'm cutting this open of what I mailed to her. So January's theme, sorry, let me backtrack a minute. So I am a member of a Facebook group called International Cross Stitch Pen Pals. And it's essentially a Facebook group where people from all around the world, internationally, can get together and find somebody to become pen pals with and then exchange stitchy goodness with each other. And um, I have one pen pal in the UK, but mail's really tough right now for her, so um, that's kind of on pause. But my pen pal in Australia Claudia is absolutely amazing and we enjoy sending stuff to each other and every month uh, the group has a theme for the month and then they've also been doing bonus challenges. Um, so for January the theme was hot beverage uh, and or snowflakes and then the bonus challenge was French knots. So I decided to stitch Sorry, <laughs> um, I set an alarm to take the trash out because it's trash night and I always forget. <laughs> so hopefully I won't forget after I record this video that I turn the alarm off for that. But um, where was I? So Claudia, who is in Australia right now, um, it's the middle of summer over there. So it's hot. So I was like thinking, okay, hot drinks. She's not going to be drinking like coffee or hot chocolate, well, she probably drinks coffee, but like actual hot beverages, let me see what I can do. So I was thinking of a drink that I would enjoy drinking while it was hot. So I decided to do um, lemonade. So I stitched her um, a little coaster with a lemon, uh, with a slice of lemon, and then I did French knots for the seeds of the lemon. And then I also sent her um, some Kool-Aid packets of like lemonade and everything. I was trying to find some country time lemonade packets, but I don't think they do packets. Um, Cause that's my favorite lemonade is country time lemonade. Specifically pink. They used to make a pink raspberry one, which was amazing, but I don't think they make that anymore. So yeah, and then I painted her a little card with lemons. I went all out lemon theme, and then I picked up some stickers from work that had lemons on it. So I was I was really excited about how creative that was. I don't know. Uh, so she enjoyed it. She enjoyed it. She sent me a message that she got it and everything like that, uh, which is why I can show it off now. But anywho, I got it open, but I haven't pulled anything out yet. So I got candy. I love candy. Let's see. I got some Chup Chupa Chups Chupa Chups face lollipops. Oh, those are cute. <laughs> I got two of those. I haven't heard of that brand before. That's another cool thing with um, having a pen pal from somewhere else, especially like the other side of the world, um, is you get some like really cool stuff. So I'm excited to try those. They're strawberry flavored. And then I got some trolley gummy bears. I've heard, of, I've had trolley like gummy worms, like sour worms, but I haven't seen these gummy bears. So I love gummy bears. So I'm really excited to try those out. Oh, thank you. So, <gasps> so pretty. Look at the snowflake. Oh, and she did some French knots for like some speckling around it. Oh, that's amazing. That's so pretty. I love the colors too. 
So right now I have like a wall that I'm like putting everything up on. I know some people have started cross stitch journals, so I might do that. Um, I really like it. I know a lot of the stuff that I send to her, I like finish into something. Um, just because I'm always challenging myself to think of creative ways to finish it. But honestly, I really like just getting it like this because I can like hang it up easily. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. And then what else did I like? Oh, <laughs> I got Frankie the Sausage Dog Pin Cushion. Oh my goodness. So it's a whole kit and everything. And then I got um, the pattern here that obviously I'm not going to show you guys the pattern, but that is so adorable. I wonder if this, this looks like it's from the same magazine that um, she sent me the Flamingo, which will be talked about later. Um, so that's so cute. This might have to go with me to the mountains because it's a kit. So it has everything together. Aww. <laughs> that's so, that's so cute. I love it. And then she sent me my Hogwarts letter. Seal of approval. I love the stationery. You know what? I need to get some like fun stationery to send. I actually, I did get some, but I haven't used it yet because <laughs> I really like it. So I didn't want to use it up. But now that I have somebody besides like my friend Bonnie to like send letters to, I might need to start using it more. So she sent me a really nice note. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read that later because I know this video is already gonna be long. So thank you so much, Claudia. I know she watches my videos too. Um, so oh, I love it. <laughs> and I'm gonna like have one of these suckers for for dessert. So next is my package from my mom. She even wrote Happy Mail on it. Aw. She enjoys watching my videos and everything like that. Um, especially since now that I'm like working all the weekends, I don't really get a chance to do crafty, crafty day with my family as much. Um, but we are actually planning a uh, one, one day quilt retreat in February because normally uh, our guild in Florida does a retreat in February. But with everything going on, my mom's not going. Um, I don't even know if they're doing it or not. And I'm obviously not going. Um, so uh, my sister and I decided that uh, we're gonna do kind of like a mini retreat. So it should be a lot of fun. But so my mom sent me some happy mail, which I'm really excited about. I did request a few things. So I think I know at least sort of some of the stuff that's in here. And she did kind of give me a heads up on one of the, one of the items. So I'm really excited. So let me get this open. My mom knows how to package stuff. Another bag! <laughs> There's a bag inside of a bag. Okay, let me make sure. Yeah, that's everything there. Okay. Let's see here. <gasps> okay, so she put everything in this bag. So she told me about this bag. So this bag is amazing. Okay, so I got some of the fabric too. So this fabric here, um, it is called, I should have looked this one up, Fantas Cotton, Cotton Candy Fantasy. So um, I know I've talked about it before briefly, but my family, we have a quilt shop. So it's an online business. It's called Happy Squirrel Quilts. Um, my sister who's out in Colorado, um, runs essentially most of it. And then pre COVID, we would go to, um, quilt shows and everything and have booths. So our quilt shop has like fabric and patterns and things like that. And some notions and stuff for quilters. Um, in addition to, I do have a couple cross stitch stuff on there. Um, I hope to maybe eventually add more. Um, but right now it's mostly just kind of, um, quilt, quilting related. So if you do sew or know somebody who sews, uh, check it out because we try to carry stuff that other people don't. Um, again, it's Happy Squirrel Quilts. I'll put it down, down there. But this fabric, 
I really wanted the fabric because I wanted to make a I want to make a project bag with it and I think it's so cool because from like a distance it's just like a really pretty kind of watery pink pastel uh, but also bright colors um, it's called cotton candy blind faith so and then what it means by blind faith is because upon like closer inspection there's like Nessie and there's like a swan and let me get out the bigger piece because I'm pretty sure that there's a unicorn let me see here To say that there's a unicorn. Maybe maybe it's just the swan and the and the Loch Ness. Oh no, there is a unicorn. So there's there's a unicorn on there. So yeah, so like holding it back, it's just like a really, really pretty like pinks and purples. Um, sort of almost like a peachy color. So I love the fabric. And then upon like closer inspection, you have like all the fantasy creatures. So I sat her send me some fabric because I do want to make a project bag out of it. Uh, which will probably be my project for our quilt retreat. So I'm going to set that aside. So she made this bag. So this um, is a pattern that we also carry um, on our site. And this one I did write down. This one is called Hello Pouches. Um, I'll try to insert a picture real quick too. There's a couple different sizes. And um, it has the vinyl top and then the quilted bottom. And it has like a flat bottom, so it sits down really nicely. So she she made me a bag. And then now I actually can like open it up and take a better look at what's in here. So let's see. Aw. <laughs> it's a sloth dish towel. That's so cute. Perfect for Valentine's Day. I love the ones that like hook on the stove because then you like never lose it because it stays there until you take it off to wash it. Let's see what else she sent me. <sighs> okay, so I was telling her about obviously my um, There's No Planet B stitch along and I requested a grime guard to go with it and this is the one she made me. So I actually remember this fabric um, from like when I was a kid. I don't remember why, I, I, don't, I don't know. I know when I was really little, we um, had like sconces that um, were like jungle. So I know this wasn't from that, but this is a fairly older fabric, probably from her stash. But it has like pandas and uh, camels. Well, that's actually probably, that's a bacoderm. Um, and bisons and tigers and stuff. And there's like an armadillo, so it'll be perfect for my, there's no planet B. Let me go ahead and put that on real quick. I don't have to worry about putting away. So perfect, yay! So now I have a grime guard that matches that. I'm really excited about these like matching grime guards. <laughs> and then, let's see here, yes. So I also requested a Christmas one to go with my um, Frosted Pumpkin Christmas wreath because right now I'm using my um, Mushrooms and Hedgehogs that she made me. So she made me a candy cane one, which I love. Because like, as far as like, Christmas stuff goes, I love candy canes. I love like peppermint and how Christmas is like all sorts of peppermint. Peppermint bark is like one of my favorite seasonal um, treats, which I know you can get it year round, but essentially especially for for the holidays so perfect so now I have a new grind guard for a matching grind guard for my Christmas one yay <laughs> so excited what else did she get me <gasps> so she got me some needle minders nice some floss floss girl and then, oh, these are cute. So she got me also some um, wood cut out uh, floss bobbins. Aw, super cute. Thank you. 
I'll have to give her a call after I record to, uh, to, to tell, to talk to her about it. So yeah, but, um, again, this bag, if you liked it, it's called Hello Pouches, a uh, little shameless promo here for Happy Squirrel Quilts. Um, because I mean, right now we're not doing shows, so it's kind of hard having a strictly online business, um, that most of our proceeds or most of our income came from doing shows, but, uh, yeah. So hello pouches and then cotton candy blind faith is the fabric. So we try to, like I said, we try to carry like fun and unique stuff. So yeah. Yay. So that's all my happy mail that I have right now, except boop, 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 moving forward into February goals. So I do have two more happy meal stuff that I bought myself for February. So if you guys uh, watch Miss Light Pages, Jesse with Miss Light Pages, um, also I know like a couple other people have mentioned it because it's definitely catching on, but she came up with the idea of doing Febu February, or hashtag February. So I'll try to write that down below because I mean, I always have an issue even spelling February, let alone February. Um, so yeah, so essentially it's, um, a prompt, I guess, or just kind of like a fun thing that a lot of cross stitchers are going to be doing where they're going to be stitching birds in the month of February. So I got two patterns, um, from, from Jessie from Miss Lay Pages. Uh, she also has a Etsy shop. So I got two patterns from her. Uh, specifically with the idea of stitching them for February Aviary. So the first pattern that I got from her, actually, I'm going to do this one as the first pattern. So the first pattern I got from her, I've had this, I've been eyeing this for a bit now, but it's called Flamingo Bells <laughs> because it's adorable. It's, it's a Christmas thing, so I'm not going to have to like finish it anytime soon. Um, but it's, it is, it's adorable. Um, my grandma next door was always really into flamingos and being from Florida, it's kind of like the way of life. So I did, um, go ahead and get all the floss for that. So I'm thinking about possibly stitching this on my new fabric. So I haven't done an official floss toss yet, but I think that might work. Um, possibly. So that's, that's one of the ideas of the fabric that I'll use. But um, this is Flamingo Bells. It's by Hanson Designs. There is, I think, two other Flamingo Christmas things um, in this collection that she has on her site as well. So if you like flamingos, check them out. The other thing that I got from her site, I saw this pattern a long time ago. Well, probably not that long ago, but a while ago, and I wanted it. But I'm like, you know, I have too many patterns already. I already have too many projects planned. I don't need another pattern. But then she's like, we're going to do February Aviary. And I was like, okay, like I've been wanting this pattern. What better excuse than to get it for now? So this is Beach Dance. And they're blue for the boobies. And it's by Lindy Stitches. And it's adorable. I love it. It's so cute. Um, so this one had some specialty dye, uh, dyed, um, flosses. So it had some, um, uh, weeks dye and a classic color works. So I've only stitched with DMC. Um, I haven't ventured into the realm of all the gorgeous other dyed flosses. So I decided that since I'm getting these patterns from Jesse and I know that she carries a lot of these flosses. Let me see if I can go ahead and get some of these floss, these specialty flosses from her, at least for this project, because I've been wanting to do this pattern since I saw it. And I think I saw it pretty soon after it came out. Um, so I messaged her, which FYI, you can message somebody on Etsy, <laughs> the site where you buy it from, because I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't thinking, so I just like messaged, sent her like a, a private message on Instagram because I also follow her on Instagram. 
Um, and then in her latest video, she's like, by the way, if you buy something from my shop and you have any questions, if you could like message me on Etsy um, instead of like emailing me or on Instagram or something, that'd be great help. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, uh, even though she said she wasn't calling anybody out, out like out, I definitely felt called out because I did, it didn't even cross my mind to like message her on the site that I bought it from. I don't know why. So I'm sorry if you're watching this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I now know. <laughs> um, but anywho, I messaged her and I was like, hey, I know that Beach Dance um, has some of the specialty flosses. Do you think you can get me some? Because I already had placed my order and I was like, oh, wait, like I should get the floss too. Because why not? Um, so she was actually able to. So I'm really excited about it. So these are the colors. Um, so this is from Classic Works. This is called Sugar Plum. And you know, I do have a ring light. Let me see if I get the colors better. That works a little bit better. So um, this is Sugar Plum. And then from Weeks Dye Works, we have Chestnut. Just a really, really pretty brown. And then we have um, Chickpea, which has some tone to it. That's, that's one nice thing about these. They're kind of like tonal, like they have different variations to them, like color variants. And then also um, Boysenberry. So these are the specialty flosses. Now the pattern does give you DMC um, conversions, but these are just like the specialty flosses that you can get with it. Uh, so I decided to, to get those. So I'm really excited about that. Now, once I got the pattern, I realized that um, it's stitched on 32 count fabric. And I've stitched a little bit on 32 count fabric. Um, 32 count even weave and I just I currently don't have any um but I was going through my stash to see uh, if I did have some sort of fabric I can stitch on and I came across some 32 count zygarde um which I think this is a linen it's Belfast I'm still learning the different types of fabrics so this is a Zygarde Belfast 32 count. Um, it's, it's the perfect color. I'm just kind of worried because I've, ne I've never stitched on linen before either. Um, so it is like, I don't know how to really just stitch on linen because it's not, it's not square. I mean, you're not going to be able to see that, but it's not square. Um, I mean, it's pretty square, but you have like thinner, thinner fibers and you have thicker fibers. Um, but I don't know. I really do want to try stitching on different types of fabrics. So I'm going to give it a go. Um, I got this from somebody. Uh, it, was, it was given to me. So it's kind of like if I ended up not like stitching on it, then I just don't like stitching on it. I am going to start stitching with the DMC floss though, um, until I decide if I do like stitching on this or not. So yeah, so I'm really excited about that. So that's Beach Dance. And then one other bird pattern that I want to at least get started um, during February. I've been practicing that word a lot. So that's why I'm saying it a lot because I'm really proud of the fact that I can say February um, without stumbling too much. <laughs> so the other bird pattern that I wanted to work on some is my fancy flamingo that uh, my pen pal sent me um, De December, December I guess. Uh, so yeah, and this is a kit as well. So maybe this will actually come up to the mountains with me. So in addition to this flamingo, I had recently bought some fabric just because I thought it was cute. Not that I had any plans of what I was gonna do with it, because that's, that's how you buy fabric. You think it's cute, you buy it, and then you try to figure out something to do with it later. So I had bought <laughs> this adorable flamingo, and with the flamingos with Christmas hats fabric 
So I'm gonna try to make like a little mini project bag to put this in. So that's gonna be like my goal maybe this week even because I do wanna, I wanna take, you know what? I'm gonna take this to the mountains with me. Yeah, I'm gonna take this to the mountains with me. So I need to get this little project bag. It probably won't have vinyl or anything, honestly. It'll probably just be a zippered pouch. But I'm gonna get this done by the time I go to the mountains so I have a project bag to bring this with. Yeah, that's gonna be a goal. Follow me on Instagram and uh, see a picture of it before Lost Dube next month. <laughs> so let me see, do I have any other goals for February planned? Um, oh, I do. So, I'm not sure who I heard it from, but the Fat Quarter Shop is doing a, a charity pattern for the month of February. It's called Stronger Together, um, and it's called like Stronger Together Stitch Along, or Stitch, Stitch Together. It's not a stitch along. Well, maybe it is kind of a stitch along, but there's not like, it's one whole pattern. <laughs> you can buy the actual pattern. Um, so they have a cross stitch version, and then they have a matching quilt version. Um, and I'll try to insert a picture here of what it looks like. Um, but all of the proceeds, 100% of the proceeds of um, either the patterns or the, I think the kits as well, but definitely the patterns go to um, UNCIF, which is um, UNCF, sorry, which is the United Negro College Fund. Um, which is an organization that I know my grandmother used to donate to um, regularly and essentially it's an organization to try to equalize um, college opportunities for, um, for African Americans. So it's a great organization, it really is, uh, just getting, getting everybody the opportunity to, to further their education. Um, it, it's great, it really is. So. I like the pattern. It's, it's a cute pattern and everything like that, but I really like that it has like a matching, which I guess the Fat Quarter Shop does, but it has a matching quilt pattern and cross stitch pattern. So I'm going to be doing the cross stitch pattern and my mom is actually going to be doing a quilt pattern. So I know she's going to change up the colors. I'm not sure if I'm going to change up the colors or not. I'll see. Um, I do want to stitch this in February. So if she picks out her colors soon, then I can try to match my colors. Um, if she doesn't pick out her colors soon, then I'm just going to probably stick with the original colors. <laughs> but that is something else that I'm contemplating on stitching on my, um, my fabric of the month that I got. Because I think that'd be really, the called for fabric is something similar to this. So yeah, that's another plan I have for February. And... I did have another plan, but I decided I'm, I'm going to scratch that plan because I'm, I'm not going to work on it in February. <laughs> um, so, I think that's about it, except the giveaway. So, if you watched all of that, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. I know this is a long video. Um, if you're skipping forward to the giveaway, Thank you for like at least watching my video for that. <laughs> um, hopefully at some point you'll you'll check out check out my full video at some point. Um, I know uh, Bailey from Strawberry Fields was like making making uh, sad sad remarks about how short people watch her video for as far as like YouTube analogs um, or analytics go. Um, I don't really. I don't know. I try not to look at my YouTube analytics. <laughs> I don't know how accurate they are. They probably are very accurate, but I just tell myself that they're probably not accurate. Um, but anywho, I really enjoy making these videos. Doing once a month um, or scheduled once a month is working for me right now. Like I said, I might be doing bonus videos. So um, if you do enjoy my videos, uh, maybe hit the little and once you subscribe, you can hit the bell so you get a notification um, when I post a video, just in case if I do a random one before the um, last Friday of the month. Um, otherwise, I see you guys on the last Friday of the month. Um, 
this is the first month of the year. <laughs> so, so far I'm on track, I'm on goal, yay. I am recording this a few days in advance because there's gonna be some editing and it just takes forever. It really does, oh my gosh, it does. Um, so still trying to figure that out as well. Anywho, uh, I am going to go ahead and pause the video so I can record a um, the drawing and then I'll pop back on to kind of announce, officially announce the, the winner and some closing remarks. So it'll be just a second for you guys and maybe just a couple minutes for me. Let's see. Congratulations, DNA Geeks Crafts, for uh, being the next recipient of the Traveling Hunt Bug. So um, I already have your address because I'm kind of a creeper like that. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, she actually sent me some um, floss drops uh, recently um, on kind of a giveaway that she did. So I have those, so I do have your address, so I will get that out in the mail um, ASAP. Uh, just request that when you get it, please stitch it um, and then pass it on. I'm not sure how she's going to pass it on, but um, she does have a floss tube channel, uh, DNA Geeks Crafts, I will link it down below. So make sure you check her out, you might wanna subscribe, that way if she does end up doing this giveaway on there that you can then participate and see if maybe you can be the next person to stitch. So yeah, so yay, it's so exciting. Um, thank you all to, um, to everybody who participated, which actually, when I was recording that, made me think of something else. Um, I recently won something else. Um, I swear, I'm, I'm not, I don't know. I say I'm not a lucky person, I never win anything, but I actually kind of do win a bit of stuff. So, or at least recently. When I was a kid, I never won anything. Um, <laughs> it wasn't until like later on in life that I actually started winning, winning random stuff. But, um, so Jessie, not necessarily pages, but Jessie from Bobo Stitch and Quilt. So she also has a floss tube I will link below. She recently reached 100 subscribers. So yay, I'm so excited for her. Um, and she did a 100 subscriber giveaway. And her giveaway was our, is a Etsy gift card um, to purchase um, a downloadable um, a cross stitch planner from either S4 Designs or blanking on the other one, but it's like the 24 hour cross stitch planner. Um, so I'm really excited about that because I've been wanting to try out S4 Designs um, cross stitch planner, uh, but I just haven't gotten around to it really. Uh, so with this gift card, I am able to try out her, her planners, um, her pages. But also, uh, when Jessie did the gift card, it there's like only a set increment that she could do. So she sent me more than what it was supposed to be for, and she said that I could either keep it for myself or to pass it along. So I decided that I want to pass it on. Um, so I reached out back to her and I was like, hey, do you like have any other Etsy shops that um, you might recommend me? using it towards to get something to pass it on. Um, so she sent me two sites, but I also wanna know what you think. Um, do you have an Etsy shop uh, as well? Because I would love to support my viewers um, as a way of giving back in addition to then getting something to send on. So if you have an Etsy shop or if you have a favorite Etsy shop that you really like, um, that the person who runs it is really amazing, um, obviously somebody that does their own art um, or that does all of their own their own work, I would appreciate that too. Uh, so I'm open to anything because uh, not just digital downloads, I'm also open to maybe needle minders or um, I'm not too sure, I don't know. I'm essentially gonna go shopping um, 
for something fun that I think you guys might like, but also I just like because I like shopping. Um, and I'm going to use that extra cut it that uh, Jesse from Bobo Stitch and Quilt uh, gave to me to then get something fun to pass it on to you guys. So comment below with that. Um, I'll go shopping. I'll find something. Maybe I'll pop in a short video um, before the end of February to kind of announce what I decided and how to enter in a giveaway for that. So like, comment, subscribe, maybe hit the little bell because I have no idea when I'm going to do that video. Um, if you want to maybe tune in to my next giveaway. But also, in addition to that, make sure you check out Bobo Stitch and Quilt. I will link her down below. She also has a really fun floss tube too. So I think she's up to like maybe like 150 or even more. Um, and she gained that all like fairly recently too. So I love seeing everybody grow. Um, I know I'm in the upper hundreds as well. Maybe I'll do a 200 giveaway. I don't know. Oh, maybe I'll shoot high and do like a 500 giveaway. We'll see. But anywho, thank you so much for joining in. I know this is a long video. Hopefully you got some stitching done or um, if you're like me and you watch this during work, hopefully you got some work done. Um, <laughs> otherwise, I just hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, you guys be safe, be well, stay crafty, all that fun jazz. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.